From time travelers to the most recent evidence of Planet X, plus some mysterious disappearances, here are 10 mysterious events that will make you question reality. Time Traveling Stock Genius in March of 2003, the FBI arrested a man named Andrew Carlson. He was 44 years old at the time and had one of the luckiest runs on the stock market in the entire history of the stock market. In only two weeks, Andrew turned an initial $800 investment into an incredible $350 million. This obviously caught the eye of the proper authorities and the FBI quickly investigated Andrew. They wanted to charge him with insider trading, and Andrew made a full confession. But he told the FBI that not only was he an inside trader, all of his 126 high-risk trades paid off because he traveled from 250 years in the future and knew that they would make him rich. Obviously, the FBI laughed this off as a ridiculous excuse. The FBI was sure that he was doing inside trading since every single trade he made paid off big, and that kind of thing is just not possible even if you are the luckiest man on Earth. The FBI asked Andrew for his sources, but he would never give them up. Apparently, Andrew did offer to tell the authorities the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden and give them the cure for AIDS as part of his plea bargain. It's unknown to this day whether he gave them the information or not. In any case, the FBI could find no records of Andrew's existence prior to three months before they arrested him. Then, an unidentified person posted his bail for $1 million and Andrew quickly vanished and was never seen or heard from again. Either he really was from the future or Andrew was the luckiest guy ever. Do you invest in the stock market? How have your investments gone? Are you going to be the next Andrew Carlson? Let me know what you think in the comments below, but don't reveal any inside information. Do remember to subscribe if you haven't already though. If you like this video, you'll love what's up next right here on Taltanic. The Ice Woman The story of the Ice Woman is really going to make you question what is possible in this reality. The event went down in the small town of Langby on the night of December 20th, 1980. Jean Hilliard was a 19-year-old girl, and after meeting some friends in town, she was on her way home at about midnight when she got in an accident. She was driving down the street when her car hit a ditch and broke down. It was below 20 degrees outside and all she was wearing was cowboy boots. She got out of her car and thought she could walk to her friend's house through the cold, and she almost got there too. She finally saw her friend's house through the trees and just when she did, everything went black. Supposedly, Jean made it to her friend's yard, then crawled on her hands and knees to his doorstep. And that was where she lay for six full hours with her eyes frozen open. But of course, Jean never remembered any of it. Jean was frozen so solid that doctors at the hospital couldn't even get an IV into her arm when she was finally admitted. And besides, they already thought she was dead. But then in the morning, Jean woke up. She had thawed out and by noon was totally okay. According to a professor from the University of Minnesota, this kind of thing can happen with extreme hypothermia. Basically, Jean went into a kind of frozen hibernation, then gradually thawed out and was otherwise undamaged. But nonetheless, it's an absolute miracle that she lived. Doctors had even been considering amputating both her legs to avoid a frostbite infection, but she ended up being totally fine. Legend of the Ghost Ship the mystery of the ghost ship has never been solved. It's an absolutely bizarre event that occurred in 1921, when the schooner named Carol A. Deering was spotted by a lighthouse keeper on January 29th bound for its home port, he could never have expected that the unthinkable would happen. According to Captain Jacobson, the keeper of the lighthouse, he initially saw the crewmen of the Carol A. Deering wandering around suspiciously on the foredeck of the ship, but the ship never pulled into port. Then on January 31st, the Coast Guard came up on the ship run aground with its sails set and the lifeboats missing. The boat was abandoned. Nobody knows what happened to the crew, but they vanished like ghosts. They took their personal belongings with them, some navigational equipment, and they even took the ship's anchor. Even after a long and exhausting investigation by the FBI, the ship's logs were never found and there was no trace of the crew ever discovered. To this date, the ship remains an unsolved mystery. Nobody knows what happened to the crew, why they were wandering around on the deck on January 29th, why they never pulled into the port, or where they could have gone. There are some theories, some say that there was a mutiny, some say pirates attacked them, and others say that they were besieged by gangsters who were running rum illegally. But the truth is that this mystery will never be solved. The Babushka Lady The assassination of JFK was one of the most pivotal moments in US history. It's also the source of a lot of conspiracy theories. One of the most mysterious aspects of this fateful day must be the Babushka Lady. On November 22, 1963, there were many people on the streets of Dallas to watch the president's motorcade pass by. 
there were also a lot of photographs taken of the scene that day. Over the years, most of the people seen in the photographs have been identified, but not the babushka lady. She is a mysterious woman seen in many different photos standing in the grass wearing what appears to be a traditional Russian headscarf. She also appears to be taking a photograph of the exact moment JFK was shot. Even to this day, nobody has any clue who this woman was. The big questions here are why was she alone? Why was she positioned in such a way that she could easily snapshot the exact moment of the president's death? Why didn't she run while all the other people around her were running for cover or freaking out? She seems completely calm even after the shot goes off. Was she a spy, a secret service agent, a man dressed as a woman, or an assassin from the future? Nobody knows for sure. Malaysia Flight 370 Perhaps the most recent mysterious event of the last few years was when Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared on March 8, 2014, after departing Kuala Lumpur. The plane had been heading for Beijing with 227 passengers and 12 crew when it vanished off the face of the earth. It was there one second, and the next it had vanished off the radar and was simply gone. To this day, the aircraft has not been found and neither have the bodies. Most people agree that something fishy is going on with this flight. In all likelihood, it crashed into the Indian Ocean and was then covered up by the Malaysian government. Of course, this is all just speculation. Other people claim that there was a hijacking, that the aircraft controls were taken over by electric virus technology as part of a larger scheme, that there was a terrorist attack, that investors were assassinated using the flight because of a certain patent that was worth a fortune, or even that the United States captured the plane and then flew it into a special military base. Despite all these wild theories, some of which can be pretty convincing, nobody really knows what happened to this flight. How many governments are involved in a potential cover-up, how far the conspiracy goes, or if it was just truly a mysterious accident. Planet X As far as conspiracy theories go, Planet X is at the top of the weird scale. Some say that Planet X is hiding on the other side of our sun, some people say it's very close to Earth but completely invisible, and some people claim that Planet X is populated by aliens who have been watching us secretly for centuries. In any case, according to The Verge, there is new evidence that suggests Planet X could actually be real. Prepare to have your concept of reality shattered. Scientists have found a small object orbiting far from the sun that fits in with the theory of Planet X. Astronomers are even saying that the small object may be on the path it's taking now because of the hidden planet's gravity. This unknown object is nicknamed the Goblin, and it was spotted by astronomers in Hawaii back in 2015. For the next four years, researchers followed its trip around the sun. Observations showed that the small object takes an outstanding 40,000 years to complete a single orbit around the sun. This could be because its gravity is influenced by a hidden planet totally undetected by us at the edge of our solar system. There are actually 14 space rocks sharing in this orbit, with their paths unnecessarily elongated around the sun. It could be that they are in fact circling the mysterious Planet X. Time Traveling Hipster one look at this photo from the 1940s and it's immediately obvious that there is something horribly wrong. The original photograph was taken at the 1941 reopening of the South Fork Bridge in Canada. When the museum digitized and then uploaded all of its collection of photos online back in 2010, somebody noticed this photograph of a guy dressed a little too casually for the 1940s. It does indeed appear that a time traveler was actually caught in a photograph. He has a modern t-shirt with a logo on it, wraparound sunglasses, and a small portable camera. One glance and you can instantly tell this guy is from the future. But wait, this guy has actually been debunked. The photo itself is not fake, but it would be a little weird if someone traveled backwards in time just to take some photos of a bridge reopening in Canada. Let's break it down a little. The t-shirt he's wearing actually has a logo on it for the Montreal Maroons, which was a hockey team that played in the NHL from between 1924 and 1938. It checks out. Then special glasses with protective side shields were available in the 1940s. The style of eyewear was not popular, but they were definitely around. And finally, Kodak did make small portable cameras that were available in 1941. Everything this guy is wearing in the photograph fits with the times. Perhaps what makes him really stand out is the fact that he's surrounded by older guys in suits and hats. Or maybe we're all wrong and he's a time-traveling tourist. The Dancing Plague of 1518 most people don't know about the Dancing Plague of 1518. This was a bizarre phenomenon that happened in the city of Strasbourg, which then would have been part of the Holy Roman Empire. According to History.com, residents of this town were struck by an abrupt and uncontrollable urge to dance. It was complete hysteria. 
It all began when a woman stepped into the street and began to twist, twirl, and shake completely silently. She supposedly kept dancing for a full week, and before long, at least three dozen other residents joined in her dancing. By the month of August, the dancing epidemic had at least 400 victims. Local physicians at the time blamed the dancing outbreak on hot blood and suggested that people were trying to dance the fever away. While this may seem fun, it definitely was not for the people who suffered from it. Some died from strokes, some died from heart attacks, and some simply dropped from exhaustion and died. The dancing went on until September when the dancers were forced up the side of a mountain to a special shrine where they could pray for absolution. So what actually happened? Well, according to historian John Waller, it was likely a mixture of belief and fear. The people back then did believe that curses were real and they were constantly afraid of disease and famine. It could have been a stress-induced hysteria that caused so many people to dance to their death. Or it could be something even stranger and more unexplainable than that. The WOW Signal the WOW signal is the strangest thing that ever came to us from outer space. It appeared on August 15, 1977 and was picked up by the Big Ear Telescope at The Ohio State University. The signal lasted for a full 72 seconds and was more complex and more intense than any other signal that has ever been picked up by the satellite from space. Another interesting thing about the signal is that it was a narrow bandwidth signal, more similar to something created artificially. The signal was also at the exact same frequency as radio waves that are emitted by neutral hydrogen gas in space. The region that it came from was completely silent other than this signal. For many, this has been indisputable evidence of extraterrestrial life. It could have been a signal sent from a UFO, picked up by us, but we are too stupid currently to decipher what it meant. All efforts to figure out the signal have failed, and since 1977, the signal has not repeated. Some have said that the signal was simply made by a passing comet, but others say that's nonsense. I'll let you be the judge. The Anjikuni Disappearance One of the strangest phenomena is mass disappearances. This is when a town, a whole ship, or an entire household goes missing all at once with no evidence of what happened to the people. One of the most blatant instances of mass disappearances in history happened in November of 1930 in a small Canadian village. The village had been occupied by the Inuit people and it was located on the shores of Lake Anjikuni. What had once been an industrial village became a ghost town overnight. The town was discovered first by a Canadian fur trader named Joe who was seeking shelter from the cold and accidentally stumbled upon the village. He had been there before and knew that a lot of people lived there. However, in 1930 when he returned there, not a single soul was left in the village. What makes the story even stranger is that there were pots of stew still steaming, huts full of clothing and food, and still not a single human soul. Even more mysterious was the fact that there were no footprints in the snow and no sled dogs. Joe eventually made his way to the nearest telegraph office where he sent a message to the Canadian Mounted Police for help. The police searched the village and what they found is simply terrifying. At the village burial ground, all the graves had been unearthed and were empty. It was as if all the dead people clawed their way out of the graves and then walked away. And to make things even more mysterious, the Mounties apparently saw pulsing blue lights above the village that then faded into the darkness of the horizon. In total, 2,000 Inuit people went missing without a trace and were never found again. Which of these mysterious events is making you question reality as we know it? Let me know your theories in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another fun video.